quick stop over in Berlin, now on the train to Warsaw. Pretty sweet little cabins there. A whole cabin to ourselves. Little charging points. Should be a pretty sweet six hour train ride to Warsaw. in Warsaw last night, dropped off our stuff at the Airbnb and went and tried some local dishes like pierogi uh, which was delicious and we had another national dish which was like meat wrapped in a cabbage, I can't pronounce the name so I'll put it here. Um, we're now out and about this morning checking out the city. The first thing first was half the apartment block we're in um, was original from World War II. There's like all original bullet holes and everything. It's pretty crazy. It's like... So we're gonna go check out the, the Palace of Culture that was gifted to Poland by the USSR. Um, and here we go. Culture Palace, pretty sweet. It's only four pounds to get up in. Uh, get a pretty awesome view of the city. Not today though, because it's busy. So that was pretty sweet. Now we're off to the Polish Museum of Uprising. We couldn't help ourselves. Warsaw, full of Asian restaurants. We had our, our parade last night. Japanese. Cheeky Japanese watch. Let's finish up at the Warsaw Uprising Museum. It was super interesting. Basically, learn about how 80% of the city was demolished by the German occupancy and how the people try to basically fight for their homes. Definitely worth a visit. Now we're gonna head into Old Town and see what's going on there. So we made it to Old Town. It's 3.30 in the afternoon and it's dark. So Paul was much more than we expected. We miscalculated and got two nights there, which was nowhere near enough. Really cool to be walking around in such a busy happening city after Romania and Hungary, countries like that, which were quite sparse. We had only friendly people there, which was awesome. Everyone was like more than willing to engage with us and talk to us and, and see why we were there and what we were doing. All the food and drink was like really high quality and super like healthy and nice food. Beers were only about two, two euro each, and a good meal like pierogi was only about five euro. So that was awesome. And you got like a big plate of pierogi, like 12 on a plate or something like that. So it's plenty of food. So if you're under 20 euro, both of us got a good meal and a couple of beers. I would definitely recommend at least three nights, I reckon, in uh, Warsaw. And then you at least need a couple more nights and then get out of Krakow and go check that out. And so we're gonna keep moving to uh, Russia, so we're jumping on a flight now to Latvia, which is going to be our next stop. It's only about a four euro taxi ride out there, which is about 30 minutes, 40 minutes. So we're going to jump in that and um, jump on the plane and get to Latvia. So we'll see you there.